Hello, my lovely friends. My name is Ava, and today I have an unboxing. So, these are just two of the packages I have to open for y'all. I actually haven't done a dedicated unboxing video of like bookish things in a while. And so I'm very excited for this. We have about five things to open and show off. So I'm very excited. All of them are bookish related in some sort or fashion. The first one that I have is actually a package from Novel Wix. This is a candle company that specifically makes candles um, inspired by books and even like TV shows, like popular things. So um, and even some like other ones here and there, but this was such a sweet package and they sent me a few candles as well as some art prints. I didn't even know they made art prints either. Also, I do now have a discount code. I will link that down below. I have another one that I'm gonna talk about in a minute that also has a discount code where it'll be down below where if you use my code, you get some money off your purchase. I don't get compensated in any way for this just by the way, but it's for you if you want some money off for some bookish candles, like go, go, go for it. Oh yeah, this is my code by the way. She's really cute and wrote it on a little pumpkin with a bunch of other little pumpkin, like fall, like goodies in here. We have like little mini pine cones and like pumpkins and whatnot. It's really cute. Okay, so my code is AVA10, but again, that'll be in the description. Sorry for that sound, my cat is climbing up the bed. First I have the candles. The big one right here is called a Blood Oath, which is a leather scent. Well, first of all, let's show off like the picture. There's always like beautiful pictures along with um, like the label and stuff. So if you know, you know from the Throne of Glass series what the Blood Oath is and it is sparkly. Oh my gosh, this cat, stop. Okay. So it's sparkly as well, which I love and definitely smells like leather. I told her that I love candles that smell like a good, like sexy man. Like I love that. So definitely this candle for sure. I love this and I love the fact that there's like sparkles in here too. And then I was also sent two smaller ones. So this one is sweater weather, which is lemon and lavender scented. Um, it is gold with, look at those sparkles, the glitter. Oh, I love that. Lemon and lavender, love it. I love lavenders. I think my favorite scent on top of vanilla. So like, I love that. Next I have Azriel's Wingspan, which is black raspberry vanilla. So there's the art with that one. And when you open it, oop, it's like this midnight blue color. Reminds me of Acromath. Oh, that smells really good. <laughs> really good. Okay, I am a candle freak. Like I love candles so much. I never have a lot of candles because I use them so much. <laughs> and then the art prints that came with it. Oh, so pretty. Okay, so this one is obviously Aelin and Rowan. Next is Miss Aelin. Ooh, Dorian and Manon. I'm in love with this one. Yes, please. Oh, if you know, you know this one. And then also this other Aelin and Roman one. I love all these prints. They're absolutely stunning. I've like slowly been getting more art prints from, whoa, book boxes I'm subscribed to. And I've never been one to like have art prints of characters, but now I have like quite a little collection. So I wanna know what do y'all do with your character art prints? Do you like frame them? Do you put them on your shelves? Like I have like, that one right there. You can't really see it. It's Ice Planet Barbarian one. But like, what do y'all do with your art prints? Cause like, they're so pretty. Like I want to display them, but I don't know. I also don't know cause I don't have room in my house to like put them in frames or anything around around my room. <laughs> I also want to let y'all know in October, um, they just dropped their um, like Halloween themed candles on the 6th. And then on the 13th, there's going to be some classics ones. And then the 20th, they're going to be releasing ones surrounded around TV shows like Wednesday, House of the Dragon and Shadow Hunters. And then 27th of October, they're gonna drop their Christmas candles, which is super fun. So thank you so much Novel Wicks for sending this my way. I'm gonna be linking their Instagram down below. I love looking at their Instagram, it's so pretty. Um, but thank you again so much for these beautiful smelling candles and the beautiful art print. So if you're wanting bookish candles, I definitely recommend Novel Wicks. Again, you can use Ava 10 
as a discount code. Next is my other product, if you will, that I have a discount code for. If you're interested, I'm gonna be linking that down below. But this company called Bastion, Bastion reached out to me. They have really high quality pens. Um, again, I'm not being, oh my gosh, this cat, sorry. I'm not being compensated like at all to talk about their products. I just thought it would be a really fun thing to do to show off like a really cool pen, honestly, cause I feel like with a lot of readers and writers out there who are on the booktube community, like we need really good pens. So this one, I love the feel of this. I've actually never held this before. I just opened the box, um, but it's blue. It has like other different, they have other colors as well as other prints and stuff. Um, I looked at their website, but it's really cool. Look at how you make sure the pen is like down by going like this. Really cool, really cool. Um, there is a little, case it comes with and I think some like refill ink as well if you run out um, but I've actually never tested this so let's see I have a handy dandy little notebook here so let us see I've never used this before so we're just gonna do oh right from the get-go whoa right from the get-go super easy I didn't normally with like new pens you have to like scribble a little to get the ink out. That's not what happened here. There we go. Okay, I'm in love with this. I love how like, I love these heavy kind of pens. It feels really good in my hand. I really like this. So thank you so much Bastion for sending this my way. This is so cool. I love this. I'll definitely be using this pen. Um, if you are interested in getting one for yourself or for somebody else, um, the link to their site is going to be down below as well as a discount code. Again, I don't get compensated for this like at all. I just thought this was a really cool product and they reached out to me. So let me know uh, what y'all think of this pen if you end up getting one um, and you can get some money off if you use my code. So thank you so much, Bastion, again for sending this really cool pen my way. I've already opened this box because I could not help myself, but I'm going to re re-unbox it for y'all. <laughs> This is the Renegade Romance Ruby Dixon box with the special editions of The Bad Guy and Worst Guy by Ruby Dixon. If there's a special edition of Ruby Dixon book, I will be getting it. So, you know, it's going to be getting this box. Okay, so let's show off all the things in this box. I got the, I think there was two options to get the bigger box and then the smaller box. The smaller box, I think you only got the books in. I wanted all the swag. I wanted all the stuff. Okay, I know I am spending my money in irresponsible ways. It's fine. I'm a Ruby stan, it's fine. So, okay, so, <laughs> worst guy and bad guy, the original covers are up there, but these are gladiator barbarian clone romances. Alien, alien romances, by the way. Okay, so first one are um, the this pen, this giant pen, I love it, of um, our two crones of clones of Cruelden the Ruiner. So um, basically this series is about clones of a very dangerous barbarian gladiator named Cruelden, and these alien men don't know that they are clones of him. They think like they're the real deal, um, and it's their romances with human women. I love these books so much. Okay, so these are the two Cruelden's we have. Then we also have some pins of our characters. So this one is um, My Cruel, which is one of the clones. This one is Victor, who's one of the clones. This one is B, and this one is Mina. Um, yeah, all of our characters are right here on little pins. That's so stinking cute. We also got two art prints as well. This one's a little bit more spicier with Mina <laughs> and um, Michael. Yeah, this one is Victor and B, and yeah, Mina, Michael, B, and Victor. So. Again, more art prints I don't really know what to do with. What do y'all do with art prints? Please help, I would love to know. But oh, also I just wanna shout out how like absolutely stunning these are. Like they're beautiful, I love them. But I have two stickers. This one says, no one has ever looked at me like that. Like I could destroy him with a breath. And then this one says, what do I call you? And then the answer is yours, love that. Oh my gosh, stop. Hey, 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 hey. Leave the light alone. Boys, then I have this lanyard that I'm absolutely obsessed with. If I was going, oh, if I was going to book Bonanza again, I would definitely be wearing this because Ruby's going to be there, but I sadly did not get a ticket this year um, or for next year. Whoa, these cats. <laughs> Sorry, 
y'all. It's chaotic. Then we also have a tote bag, which is amazing. I freaking love it. Okay, this is the tote bag. You have black straps. But here is that with like the, the what the cover looks like of the box, which is really cool. It says Renegade Romance Ruby Dixon. And then look at this. I'm obsessed with this. This is Cruelden the Ruiner Brutal Galactic Champion. Like, yes, this is the Brutal Gladiator Barbarian Warrior. I love. Yes, um, this tote is absolutely classic. I don't think I'd ever bring this out in public without my friends who like know what this is because that's a that's a definitely a conversation starter that I don't really know if I want to get into with strangers. <laughs> and then the last thing are the two exclusive books that I think are so hot. <laughs> so this is Bad Guy. Okay, you have like this iridescent cover. He's chained up and then Mina is on the back looking at him through glass because he's chained up behind glass and then this one is a worse guy again hot cover with the bee on the back trying to feed him because he hasn't eaten anything that's what like this one she's trying to befriend this clone and ugh, I love them so much they are stunning I need to find space for them on my shelves like I love this Renegade Romance did an amazing job April at a Renegade Romance fantastic so that's the Renegade Romance box. I'm obsessed with like everything in it. It was money well spent. I will say that, money well spent. I have two more packages left. First, I have a PR package from Good Girls PR. I think the author is Ariel Ray, possibly. Let's see here. Okay, so there's a book and a bunch of little goodies inside as well. Okay, let's see. Okay, so the book, and then we'll talk about the goodies. Book is called Blood Hunted by Ariel Ray. Like I thought, I've never heard about this book. It says all the Fae she had slept with were dead. Scarlet had earned her title of Fae Slayer, but despite the amount of bodies in her wake, she had no leads on where to find the Fae King. In the aftermath of the Fae invasion, she has three rules for her survival. One, never negotiate. Two, never trust a pity face. And three, never tell anyone how she started the apocalypse. After one of her hunts, she is cornered by an assassin hired by the Fae King himself. Boss is a blood hunter and he knows Scarlet opened a Fae door, making her the only human capable of ending the King's rule. He has a proposition, an alliance to kill the King. Knowing her identity gives a Voss the upper hand and she has no choice but to accept. With two of her rules broken, can she trust the assassin if it means getting revenge? Ooh, interesting. I've never heard about this book. Love that. Okay. Sounds very interesting. Okay. So a sticker that says never mention how I started an apocalypse. Then we have another sticker that says you're mine little fox. Then there is this little card that says wanted the face slayer for murder, identity theft, and attempted treason 10,000 coin if delivered to the fake king alive. Okay, so it says, there are trips in the back. It says, dystopian urban romanticy, reluctant allies, light voyeurism, blood bonding, one bed, supernatural powers, and biting. There are content warnings for murder, violence, gore, blood, blood play, attempted SA, not graphic, consensual, non-consent, like role play, <laughs> attempted hanging, past trauma, memories of mutilation of a loved one, dismemberment, PTSD, and murder fetish. Interesting. Okay. Um, and then we also have, whoa, this is cool. A bookmark, a wooden, is it a sword? A wooden sword bookmark? That is so cool. I love that with a little tassel on the end. And then the last thing is um, a thing of tabs that are like color coded to the book, I guess. I love that. That is really cool. So thank you so much to um, Good Girls PR for sending this my way. I will definitely be looking into this book more because it sounds very interesting. Let me know if y'all have read this book or have heard about it as well. And the last thing I have is a box from A.L. Jackson. She sent me a box for her newest release. It is out by now. Um, and I think the book is in here, if I'm not mistaken. I am in shock that I am where I am now. Like, I am on author's PR lists. Like, they reach out to me. And asked to be on and asked me to be on their PR list and to send me early copies of their books. Like it's absolutely wild to me that I'm here where I am now. So I just want to thank y'all. Little sappy moment. Thank y'all for all the support over the past six, six and a half, almost six and a half years. Like y'all are amazing. Okay. 
and he stopped blubbering and opened this package. Okay, I finally got it open. That took so long. Okay, so this is what the box looks like. There's a little thank you card in here. Oh my gosh. Okay, this released on October 5th, and here's the cover, Don't Forget Me Tomorrow by Ale Jackson. I love this cover, it's absolutely stunning. Beautiful. There are a few items in a little bag here. Let's see. This is so cool. Okay, we have some stickers. This one is Time River Marketing Cafe. I assume that's like a cafe in the book. You have Love is on the House little coffee. This one says Nash Metalworks and Design. I assume all these are like stuff about the book. Here's an A.L. Jackson sticker. I actually got to meet A.L. Jackson a year, a year ago, over a year ago at um, Wanderlust in San Antonio. Um, and I actually have one of her books signed, which is amazing. Then we have, oh my gosh, this is so pretty. I'm assuming this is the couple. Them as a bookmark. That's so cool. I've never seen like Oh my gosh, these cats. Y'all are gonna ruin me. Okay, <laughs> a little tassel on the end. I've never really seen um, like an art print like this as a bookmark. That is ingenious. I love that. And then we have another thing of like colored tabs that match the book. I love when authors include these because I will use those. Then there is a chapstick that says Gritty Guys Small Town Vibes. I love that. <laughs> and there's also a, a Gritty Guys Small Town Vibes pen as well. There's a little tote thing. That's so cool. This says love is on the house and this little cute tote. I love that. And like with some trees and the water. Oh, that's so cool. That's so cool. Oh my gosh. Okay. I don't know what this is, but it looks like this. I think there might be art prints or something in here. Whoa, there's a few things. Whoa, <laughs> a stack of things. Okay. Okay, I think this is the couple, but it is like a cutout art print. Oh, I love a man with tattoos, so I love this. This guy, I already know, is gonna be, is gonna be there. Um, I actually have an audio arc of this book that I need to listen to very soon. So this says uh, A.L. Jackson reading list, and then on the back is her reading list for her books and her series. I would definitely be utilizing this. Oh, and then we have some, oh my gosh, I think they're page, inserts. I've always wanted one of these. That's so cool. So I think you put these inside your book because they're like clear. Okay. So this is the first one that we have. Then the second one, he's on a motorcycle. They're at a cafe. Is this a single dad romance <gasps> or a single mom romance? Ooh. Okay. She's cooking. And then, oh, that one's beautiful. That's stunning. Love it. Yep, we're at the beginning. So I think I put these inside the book. How cool. Okay, here we have the book. Let me unwrap it. It's hardcover. It's this, oh my gosh. I was expecting like the person cover, but no, it's a hardcover. Oh my gosh, that is beautiful. It says, meet me in the place of the forgotten. That, this is stunning. This is absolutely gorgeous. And I assume the, the, oh, I just poked myself in the eye. <laughs> I assume these pages like fit perfectly in here, which is so cool. <gasps> Look at that. Oh my gosh. So cool. And it's signed. <gasps> Be personalized. I'm going to cry. It says Ava Love is on the house. She signed it for me. I wasn't expecting that. Oh my gosh. That is amazing. Okay, so let's see. The tagline says, when my best friend's little sister walks in on me, moaning her name, it's all over. All restraints are shattered and every boundary demolished. Nothing will be the same. Whew. Yes, 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 yes. What does this look like naked? I want to know. Well, okay, there they are. They're on the naked cover, okay. Oh, and it has this beautiful matte finish. Oh, I'm obsessed with this. Thank you so much, A.L. Jackson, for sending this to me. This is beautiful, thank you. I need to listen to this audiobook like as soon as possible. So I do have the audiobook of this. This PR package is so cool. I'm very new to authors sending me 
like their books as like PR packages, like prolific, like well-known authors, like A.L. Jackson is very well known. So thank you so much. This is so cool. And I'm gonna get mushy. Thank you so, so, so much. I'm gonna get so, te I'm gonna get teary-eyed and mushy, but thank you so much. So there you have it. That is my bookish unboxing for y'all. Let me know down below if you've read any of the books I've talked about today, or if you are interested in any of the products. Again, the Novel Wix candles, as well as the Bastion pen, both have discount codes down below for y'all to use if you're interested. Um, and be sure to check out the two books that I mentioned. And obviously Renegade Romance has amazing bookish boxes. So be sure to check April out at Renegade Romance. Um, but thank you all so, so much for watching. If you don't feel like commenting any of those things, you can leave me a clock emoji in the comment section down below. But anyways, thank you all so, so much for watching. I will see y'all soon in my next one. Bye y'all.